Welcome back to the Drusa Family Channel and good morning on this warm and rainy day that we're having so far. As you can see, the chickens aren't having it. They went back inside. But in today's video, it's going to be about a fire that happened last night a couple miles up the road. One of our neighbors was doing a controlled burn and it ended up getting out of control. So they ended up getting the, the forestry service involved and then the Chiquila volunteer firefighters came out. And that's how I ended up getting called. My neighbor, Ridvan, he is a part of the, the volunteers and he thought maybe that they were gonna need my side-by-side -side, uh, to get people in since it was in a remote rural area. And they thought maybe they couldn't get the trucks in so they gave me a call. But uh, Kayla's acting all confused like she doesn't know that we make YouTube videos. But uh, yeah, the, these clips are gonna be of the fire from last night. In the videos, it looks fire doesn't look as big and you can't tell how steep it is in there because the camera is deceiving but it was a good experience it was fun and uh, the beginning videos are gonna be snapchats so they're gonna be recorded vertically but well it'll get to where you can see them horizontally so just stick through that and get through there I want to but. share a quick cute story we got the call and I'm like just putting the twins to bed and so Colton's still awake because I do the twins bedtime and Colton's and then I'm like okay Colton I have to go help your daddy load up the truck so just make sure your babies are okay like watch your babies because that's what he calls them and then I come back in and the lights are on and they're all out playing and Colton is going to the bathroom and he's like don't worry mom I took care of the babies I was just gonna go read a book to them to put them back to bed and I yeah. just thought that was, he was like hysterical and then he was hysterically about laughing yeah. <laughs> he was laughing so hard because he, he was so happy that he was like watching his babies right taking care of and his little brothers yeah. so just bear with me with the leaf blower sound because I did a lot of leaf blowing to try to make a fire break and you'll see that in the video, but it was a good experience. And uh, just stay tuned for the rest of the video, and we'll see you guys in a minute. Woo! Red Van, what'd you get me into? <laughs> Dude, the first fire. Yeah. Did we pick our way down? Oh, yeah, that's right. What's up? Do some videos. <laughs> yeah. Be a good uh, YouTube.
faster uphill than down, right? Two things. And a bear and a... Uh, bear and fire. Yeah, you already told me that. So. <laughs> <laughs> a bear and fire. Yep. You care for me? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yep. Up here on this corner. All right. You need me up here helping you? Because I'm pretty useless. I'm just like following them doing nothing. If you want to, you can. All right. Yeah. I feel like we could have got the deuce to there and just flooded that hill, but. Yeah. Fire world. Can't really see, but we got a fire break right here. We're just making sure it doesn't spread. Take out to here. It's doing good so far. It's just up there they're concerned about right now. You guys get a lot of these? No, not like this. Not on a hill? <laughs> Normally it's like in a pasture or a yard and you just spray water around it. And right. It's done. Kill it. Yep. Well, luckily it's kind of damp. Yeah. So. What's your name? Devin. Nice to meet you. Have a good one. All right, guys, we're back. I got good dose of smoke inhalation. <laughs> Uh, but that's pretty cool. Red van called me over and they didn't know if they were gonna need the side-by-side -side to try to get people up into hard to reach areas because it was on the side of a hill. Ended up not needing it, but I got to meet a lot of cool people. The volunteers of Chiquila, I think I'm saying that right, Chiquila uh, firefighters, and they're pretty cool. They're asking me to volunteers, so that could be something I end up getting into. I don't know, we'll see. They're asking me to go to the uh, meetings on Thursday, but, uh, it was a good experience. I've never got to see an actual wildfire up that close before. So it was interesting. And basically they just blew a little fire line so it couldn't jump over and keep burning. That's what they're doing with leaf blowers. And it was fun. I enjoyed it. So uh, I just want to thank Ridvan for calling me, getting me to go over there and do that. Way better than sitting on the couch. Something new, something different, and uh, I enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed the video, just make sure you like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment down below. As always, you guys are awesome, and thank you for everything. And remember, one step at a time. Well, this lap dog crawled all the way from the back up here. <laughs> 70 pound lap dog. Ridiculous. That's way more comfortable than laying in the back of all the space. I'm <laughs> sorry.